program has done really well. Uh, in Scranton, we have five state stores. And uh, I, we have some stores that have seen investment in terms of modernizing, and others haven't. And the ones that have seen investment, their sales have increased. I think the Chairman Select program is a great program. And in the end, it's good business for us uh, because not only do we generate tremendous uh, tax revenues, but it's also smart business for our communities because we have the state overseeing the selling of liquor. And if it was deregulated, it would be sold anywhere. As a mayor, I would see that problem firsthand. And the fact that we have the state overseeing the selling of liquor is a great idea. And I would continue to invest in it so that we can garner uh, more tax dollars and to see it more successful. Thank you, Mr. Hall. I agree with my colleagues. Uh, I do support the system and want to see it improve, but want to keep it in, uh, in government hands. Uh, the reality is that the state store system reformed itself. The employees stepped up and, and made suggestions and um, made the whole system more customer friendly, um, made, the, made the stores uh, self-service. Um, the ones that I go to have very helpful clerks. Uh, they, they really make an effort to be a competitive retail operation. Uh, and that, that's what the state needed and the reforms have worked. And I'm sure we can do more. I still think we could get lower prices if we used our, uh, our bargaining power as, a, as the state purchaser a little more effectively. So I'd like to see a little, a little more hard-nosed borrowing and bring down some of the prices. But it, it's a good system. The employees have done well. The unions representing the employees have done well. And we should keep it and, and continue to improve. Thank you. Any rebuttal? Um, thank you. Come on up to um, the next question is being asked by Johnny DeFazio, who's from the Steel Workers Union, but asking the question for the ACL-CIO. Thank you. Uh, before I ask the question, I'll have to say a few sentences. With this health care situation, we have 45 million, probably a little bit more, with no health care. You probably have another 45 to 47 million people with bad health care. You probably have another 50 million people. I'm not going to contact them and feel, hey, I'm next. What I don't understand, if every one of them had one person, a mother, a father, a sister, a brother, a relative, a friend, would go along with these people, you'd have 90 million plus 90 million, that's 180 million people. I can't figure out why this country isn't in an uproar of what's going on now. We can't get this help. It makes no sense whatsoever. Games are being played, but I'm going to get away from that. I'm not here to make the speeches. These guys are. So I'll drop that. My question is, as governor, with all the people in Pennsylvania without health care, what would you do for the state of Pennsylvania people? 